right guys so today we're talking about a small knife that i missed and am pretty happy to have kind of back in the collection today we're talking about the zero tolerance zero 450 carbon fiber all right so like i was saying today we're going to be talking about the zero tolerance zt zero 450 carbon fiber now this is a knife that i haven't exactly owned but i owned quite a few years ago the bigger brother to this knife and that was the 0452 carbon fiber now that one was uh non-blacked out so this one has all the all black hardware slash black titanium show side and black clip so it's just basically entirely blacked out but this is one that I wanted to add to the collection for some time because I remember that knife. I actually had it for a while and the reason I sold it, and I sold it to a friend, was just because it was a little bit too big for me to really carry every day. Now, unfortunately, the 0450, in my opinion, is just a tad bit on the small side because it's actually closer to some of my smaller knives in the collection, things like the Hogue Deca and things like my uh, Rekinder XM18 in the three inch version. So you can see it falls right in this kind of category of smaller folders, which isn't necessarily my favorite size range, but is still a range that I do have EDC knives in and fairly often pick smaller blades just because these guys are a little bit more pocket friendly and especially something like this Sinkovich design that is super slender and that's probably my favorite thing about the ZT0 450 and 60 series so the 60s 62 50 52 is these blades are a lot longer than you'd expect handle lengths a lot longer than you'd expect but they're just so slender like if you put them up against pretty much anything else especially like this hinder this hinder almost looks chunky because of how thin the Sinkovich design is however i will say it is this manages to really blend a good amount of like it's thin but not too thin so you can still get a good grip on it and it of course is still long enough to feel comfortable and not cramped so this is one that i did want for quite a while because i did love my 452 it was just too long to realistically carry it had a blade length over four inches which isn't necessarily a problem it's just i prefer things around three to three and a half inches that's just my personal preference so i ended up grabbing this guy and i got a steal of a deal i will say thank you very much to the people i work with on the secondary knife market because they are able to help me get some awesome knives for some awesome deals so it is so fun working with and working with edc knife community members they are the best but anyways back to this blade it is awesome i picked it up for an incredible price and i really do love it so let's talk about some of the things i love so much about it so first off if you haven't already noticed um First off, like I don't necessarily know, a lot of people just absolutely hate on ZT knives, but the handful of ZT knives I've had over the years, the 452 currently in the collection, the 450 and the, uh, what is it, the 460? The 0562, um, this hinder design, they are really, really great actions. And I will say the 562 isn't always my favorite because it doesn't have any jimping on the flipper tab, but these guys are super smooth, super clean, and especially the Force 50 series knives that I had, like the 52 and this 50, are just absolute drop shot blades. And I will say they do run on bearings, so take that and do with it what you will. Some people are opposed to bearings or some people feel like they're cheap but to be honest i think that they're just fine when they're done right and kershaw slash zt does them right so aside from that they have like an excellent detent excellent deployment super fun action and it is super nice like it works 100 percent of the time it is almost impossible to get this to not work so that is one thing that i've loved about the 450 family of blades other things i love like i said is the super slender but yet super comfortable handle now i've come close to picking up a, four, a few 460s but what's held me off on the zt 0460s is they have a little bit more angular shape to them in both the handle the handle comes down a little bit more and the blade is more of a trailing point whereas these 450s for me they just have such a great really straight super slender 
blade that is like it's not curved it's not a trailing point it's like almost a trailing point but not quite and so it is such an edc friendly slicey blade these of course are also in cpm s 35 vn they are a little bit older so these guys like some of the newer models use cpm 20 cv including the 5 6, or 460 series of zts but the cpm s 35 vn is perfectly fine for this blade and i i don't know there's nothing i can complain about with the cpm s 35 vn it isn't magna cut but i think that it's just fine lastly these guys are super super lightweight and of course you probably expect that because you have titanium you have carbon fiber and a fairly thin blade not super thin we're not talking like deca or bug out thin where you know it's like actually it might be closer yeah, it's just a, a scotch bigger, I would say. Um, they're pretty close, but a little bit thicker, I think, than something like the Deca or Bug Out. So overall, it is still fairly thin, but it is such a slim, lightweight blade, and it is really cool. So overall, I do really like it, and I think that uh, this is one that I'm definitely happy to kind of have back in the collection, almost. Like I said, I had the bigger brother, the 452 previously, but this guy is a lot more pocket friendly. And I would definitely recommend checking out the ZT0 452 and 450, because I feel like these blades came out a number of years ago. They are definitely not brand new, but I think that they offer a ton of value. And in fact, as a whole, without getting too ranty, I think a lot of ZTs offer a ton of value. Now, I'm gonna do a video individually talking about my ZTs and my experience with them. But long story short, I really do think that pretty much almost all ZT knives out there, like in their MSRP or like for what they go for um, on secondary and primary, like it is super hard to beat. I mean, like I said, you get a full, full carbon fiber scale, full titanium scale, everything done right with uh, a hardened steel lock bar insert that also serves or acts double as an overstop travel or over travel stop. And then of course, CPM S35 VN blade, making it all a really awesome knife. And of course, this is made in America. So when people sit there and they're like, oh, you know, Benchmade is so much better. You can find these honestly, for around the same price as a Benchmade bug out, maybe a little bit more, but I'm here to tell you, I would take this over a Benchmade bug out any day of the week. I mean, this is even pushing like, I don't know, the whole Deca is really cool, but this ZT0450 is really, really good as well. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at me ooing and aahing over the 0450. But uh, it is a cool blade, in my opinion, and I definitely am happy to have it in the collection. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.